So now that we're in dot loop, what are some different things that we should know on how to use the dashboard, navigation, and what should we even upload to dot loop? Well, to start with dot loop, this is where all your contracts go. And what's the best rule of thumb with any paperwork in real estate? Upload it into dot loop. For every single file you are working, every single transaction, create a loop. So a loop is just a file, but we want to see all listing agreements, contracts, offers being written, referral agreements. Maybe there's a rental deal going on. Maybe you have a lease agreement. All that should be uploaded into dot loop. One, because when you upload it now, we are able to access a copy it at any time. Trek or most state licensing boards at any time can ask to audit our files. So if you are working deals and not uploading your paperwork, that really puts the brokerage at risk of being fined or in trouble with the state licensing board. So please upload all documentation that you work throughout your real estate career. Now with dot loop, as we're looking at this dashboard, all these right here are called loops. A loop is just a file. So we just ask that you create one loop per transaction. So if you're working a referral, make sure you've created a loop. If you're working a listing and you got your first listing, make sure there's a loop for it. If you write an offer, make sure there's a loop. That just keeps all of us on the same page. And from an admin point of view, we can go in and pull up the documentation if we need to help you. Now, other navigation items to know, there is a reporting tab. So that way, if you're fully filling out the details within each loop, you can track how many contracts you're writing, how many files you've been doing, and even how much money you've been making as a real estate agent. That is the reporting tab. People is going to be anybody that you've ever uploaded into your dot loop account, maybe sellers, buyers, different agents. It's kind of like a phone contacts database. So that way, once you've uploaded them, maybe a year from now, you actually end up working that deal with that same agent again. Well, their info automatically is saved in the people section. Templates is going to be forms. Now, all your forms can be in individual files, but there might be a couple of situations you run into where maybe you just need to download one form real quick, or maybe just a contract, something like that. You can grab individual forms from templates. However, this is not creating a file that is proper for compliance. This is just, hey, I need to download something real quick. That's where you go as templates. Now, the first thing we're gonna do, if we wanna create a loop because we have a transaction, we have a referral, we have anything, we want to hit add loop in the upper right-hand corner. That is how we create a loop. Now, with the loop name, there's a lot of different hints on how to work different sections of dot loop. So you can do the property address, you can do the MLS number, or it even says you can put in your client's name for now, you can change it later. So what we are doing is we are naming the file we are going to be working on. Addresses are preferred. That's the easiest for us to find. That way, if you call us with a question, we can find that property address really quick and not search by client names. So let's go, for example, one, two, three, and see how it starts to auto-populate listings. So dot loop actually links to several MLS systems. So if you start typing the address and you click on this, it'll pre-populate some information for you within your file. So that's very helpful. However, if you don't find it, don't get stuck on that. Just type the address and you can just hit continue. You don't even have to select it if you can't find it or don't wanna mess with it. Continue. Now here's loop templates. We have made a lot of templates to make your life easier. So we can hit the drop down menu and we will click the file type that we are working. So we might have a listing a house, residential. Residential is one to four units. So listing a house, listing land, listing commercial, buying residential, buying new construction, or the other most commonly used one is referral outbound. So if I'm sending another agent, maybe in the state or out of state, and I'm sending them a referral, you will click referral outbound. You're sending that out. So let's say for this example, we want to work with a listing and we will hit continue. You can upload a photo that is not required, but if you remember from my dashboard and we had all those loops, sometimes a photo makes it easier to find the file faster that you're looking for, but not required. I'll hit done. It will think for a second and I will hit view loop. And now you've created your very first loop within dot loop. In the next video, we will start to cover compliance and how to understand our organization structure within each loop.